technical difficulty. The network feed. Welcome to McDonald's. What do you want with your fries? Fan appreciation yeah. one on one. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what do you so what do you do? And I, I it's 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 interesting. It's been it's been interesting. Everything that you're doing now, everything is watched. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Uh, you were someplace uh, it was in the New York Post today, you, that you went to a go go dance place. You didn't see that? Oh, we have to get that for you. <coughs> Excuse I, me. Oh, we, we, oh, here it is. No, it wasn't but, me. No, no, was, but I, no, I'm not doing this. Uh, but I'm just saying, everything. Oh, they say don't, here. Joan, don't, don't. Oh, no, 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 no. But clean teen mid topless towers. Oh, even, geez, come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was me. That was Luke. All he saw was a pair of sideburns <laughs> and you know, the thing. But do you find it very constricting suddenly? I mean, you really can't say, let's just go here, let's just go there, let's just be stupid or let's be well, crazy. It, it's, you know, I, I, think that, I think that people understand that, that, um, that I'm human, everybody's human. And, and um, I mean, sure, you know, you, you go out and, and it's, it's strange to have people watching, but you just, um, it, 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 I was never, I was really never, you know, going out and, and, and doing anything incredibly stupid anyway, because <laughs> you end up in central booking for that, and that's no fun. <laughs> uh, so it, it, it's, uh, it hasn't been really much of a change in, in that sense, but there certainly is a, you get a feeling of the fact that the people watch, and, and certainly the, the term that we all use, living in a fishbowl, yeah. um, it's, uh, it, it's very apparent. What have you done now? Okay, where were you living when the show started? I was living in Los Angeles. In a, what kind of an apartment? A home uh, or? I lived actually uh, when this show started. I was living in a in a in a little house out in Malibu Canyon, which is a very secluded right. part of Los Angeles. I just finished doing a show on NBC that had just been canceled, and uh, I'd moved out way out of, way out of town because I couldn't deal with living in town and getting my car broken into all the time. And, yeah, yeah. And all that all that wonderful LA stuff. Uh, so I moved out there, and, and uh, I was I was just relaxing, you know, coming off the show, and I was very tired. And uh, and my, my agent called me and said, you know, we got this script, and Aaron Spelling's doing it, and you have to, you know go see him about it. So I went, and uh, and uh, I actually I, I was very lucky because in my auditions I got to read with Shannon because she'd already been cast, and um, Shannon's a, a, a really strong strong actress, and uh, so it was it was good in that way because it's you know it's easier to read with an actress than with a. Casting director. So you were living in Malibu Canyon, though. Yeah. Now, where do you live now? A year, I, it's, what, are you going to your second year? Yeah. So it's like yeah. a year later. Have you moved? Your lifestyle changed? Well, you're I secure moved, enough? I'm, I moved uh, a long time ago. Like, after the after the pilot, I moved. I moved a little closer into town because the commute was just getting yeah. to be too bad. But I, I still, you know, I don't... I certainly don't live in Beverly Hills, and I certainly... Uh, are they coming after you to live? You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they all figure... Are you rich? Are you getting rich? Do you have a good piece of the show? Because you were all young actors when you went into it. Yeah. And now you're all stars. You're coming out of this big stars, which is wonderful. Uh, has anyone gone to renegotiate yet? Have you sort of that? I don't, I don't know. Suzanne I don't know. Summers thing? Like, you know, uh, we're not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, your history. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think that'll happen. I mean, we all... Uh, we all did it. Did our, you know, I think we all did it right when we when we entered into the show, and, and none of us have, uh, none of us have, you know, yeah. gotten out of control with our with our headspace. So how do you stop from getting out of control? And I mean this with you. Every issue. I mean, you're on every single cup. Super teen. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never see any of these. Oh, I'll I, give these to you. I, I, I don't know. No, it's not that I yeah. want them. No. I just wanted to see oh, you, them. Oh, <laughs> you don't keep a scrap. They're your favorites, Joan. You can have I, them. Well, okay. these are my personal library. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always like to know about Marky Mark. He's oh, a real God. wild child. Oh, God. <laughs> but do, do you keep, are you starting to keep, I hope you're keeping a scrapbook. Somebody. <laughs> Uh, I, I, you, you should. know, that's mom's job. Mom's is she, like yeah, to do but that. is she I'm doing sure. it? I, 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 I'm sh I don't know. I guess. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. What, if, what about some of the offers that are coming? You've got to be getting the most. Well, I just, I actually, I just signed um, to do a, you know, knock on wood that, it, that it, everything comes down the way it should. I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully going to be doing a film for Penny Marshall at Columbia. It's fabulous. Which that's is very nice. Fabulous. Here. That's what we're all about. Oh, yeah. Did you start out to be an actor? 
from the beginning, I mean, tell me well, the whole thing. I don't mean to sound uh, stupid. I read all these magazines, but they deal mostly with, you know, no drugs and, no, and good things like no. that. You know? what, do you, what, do you, what do you say to a magazine called Teen Throb? You no, know? It, that's <laughs> a... I don't think I've ever talked to him anywhere. <laughs> I think you get it from somewhere. Um, Acting changed my life. Isn't that nice little thing that you said? There you go. But where did you say? Catchphrases for the 90s. Yeah. Acting changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> where did you start? We, we, for the act, your mother was a dancer. I started, my mother was a, a, an actress and a singer and a dancer and right. a choreographer. And, and actually, my father, for a time when he was younger, uh, used to build sets for, a, for theater. Um, so I, I guess I kind of, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just genealogy or something, but, um, I was, I was, <laughs> I made a decision when I was like four years old because I thought that people really lived in the television set and I think I wanted to live there too. And, um, it was, uh, I, I, you know, I made a decision that I wanted to do something then, but, uh, I didn't really make a complete commitment, commitment to it until I was, until I was getting a nearing graduation from high school and I decided... You know, you start to think about what you want to do with your life. And, you know, you throw around ditch digger, garbage, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, you throw around things like that. And, and then, um, and then I said, to, I said, yeah, I, I want to go back and do acting because I quit for a time to play hockey so I could... To play hockey? Yeah. You know. I'm a See, Canadian. I it's, know you're a Canadian. You know, every Canadian wants to be a hockey player. Oh, it's very yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you sacrifice life and limb for yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, ice skating. Right? Yeah. On ice? Yeah. And you still play. No, what you could play. Excuse me. I went to Adelphi Academy. You played hockey, you ran up the field, and you hit, you know. Okay. And you washed your nose and your teeth. I mean, mm -hmm. I was still Don't hit it near me. That's, so you, you, you wanted to be a hockey player. Mm hmm Okay, and then what happened? Well, I, actually, I still play. We were, I still play for, with a team called the Celebrity All-Stars, and we travel around and play for so, charity. And, so who, uh, who are the celebrities? We have, uh... Richard Dean Anderson, uh, Dave Coulier, Matt Frewer, Alex Trebek. A lot of Canadians. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> Who's the best on the team? Uh, oh, I am, definitely. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, best, uh, the best players we have are a bunch of guys from the 80 Olympic team, from the U.S. Olympic team, uh, Michael Ruzioni and Eric Strobel and Jimmy Craig. Who's the, who's the wimpiest when they say, no, no, I'm sorry, because you can get hurt. <laughs> One of the oh, wimps. Give I, me can't a wimp. oh, a, I can't a, tell. I can't tell. A semi-wimp. A semi, well, a, a, Alex Trebek, a, I bet she's a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> but he's smart about it. Um, I, I think the guy who actually gets in the most trouble and gets 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 beat up by the other team all the time is Jason Hervey. Gets but that's but that's only because he uh, he says the wrong things at the wrong time. Such as. Uh, yeah, 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 Gordy Howe, who's yeah, like get out, you know. He, yeah. He, but so you want to be? I want to get back. We have to go to commercial. Let's say I want to talk more about your acting. Your you're hockey, and I want to throw out names on the show and find out what they're like in real life. Are we going to do kind of a word association yes, thing? Yes, sure. Okay. We, we, we have an hour here. We can do lots of stuff. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment, so please stay tuned. <laughs> Two one O's, Jason Priestley. Um, just to finish up about the hockey, aren't are your agents worried, or is Aaron Spelling worried? When you play hockey, you can lose teeth. You know, yeah, I, I met a yeah, yeah. Well, I, I I I've broken a few of them yeah. over the years. I, uh, I I don't think anyone was really quite uh, quite coherent as to quite the possibilities of what can happen on the ice until I was in Notre Dame last year, and we were on the bus going to the going to the game, and I was. I was, I was realizing that I had 12 scars, big scars on my face from playing, and I, I, was, I was making a joke to one of the other players. I was saying, you know, I've only got 12 scars. You know, I've got to get a 13th and round yeah. it out, you yeah. know? <laughs> and it was, a, it, it was a big joke, and uh, of course, we went on the ice at Notre Dame, and they dropped the puck, and somebody took a slap shot and hit me right here and split my, <laughs> split my face open here. And uh, you know, I played the rest of the game, and I went in, and they stitched me up, and... Um, I got back to LA and I walked into my agent's office with the, you know, three stitches yeah. and the fat lip and, you know, a black eye. And uh, they kind of panicked. I, of course, I loved it because I felt, you know, I was playing with my face and yeah. cut it and yeah. they, they slapped stuff on it to stop it from bleeding. And, you know, I just felt like a real hockey player again, yeah. which was kind of yeah. fun. And, and macho. But now you walk in and Aaron Spelling <laughs> says, so macho. Yeah, what do we got to do here? I mean, you got to be careful well, now, Well, actually, right? they, uh, they, uh, I have another sort of dangerous pastime. Which uh, is? 
which is motorcycle riding, oh, I think. Your poor mother. I mean, she gets you at either end, either she, carrying skates or a helmet. She's going to yeah, kill us. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, she's all right, though. Um, it's, uh, they tried to, to, you know, they try to put a lot of restrictions on yeah. you, but I, I really believe in the fact that if I can't do the things that, that make me who I am and yeah. that I've always done, that, it, that have made me the person I am to this point, then, yeah. then I, I'm, I'm going to change. And, and to change, to me, seems very wrong, you know? And, and that's another thing we were saying about people watching now. Um, if, if, if I feel like, I feel like sometimes it's very difficult to go out in public and, and just, just hang out. Yeah. But, uh, but I really, I, sometimes I, I, I really just have to force myself to go do it because that's the way I've always been. I've always been someone who just enjoys hanging out and meeting people and, uh, and just been a regular guy. So, so I, really, I really try to do that still. Who have you met that you're just thrilled that you met? Because this opened so many doors to you. Well, if, if a lot of fun things have happened. Like uh, at, the, uh, at the Golden Globes I was, I was presenting um, and I presented an award to... Uh, to Burt Reynolds and uh, and Burt was great. He comes up on the he comes up on the stage and um, and, uh, and you know we all we all shake hands and you know the all very perfunctory proper thing to do. And he, he gave his little speech and he and he turned around and he went like this to me, and I went well either well either he's, he's you know got a Bible there and I'm not seeing it or uh, <laughs> or, or give me the, you know he's, and I, I came over and I, I put my hand down low and he said huh, and he gave me I went damn and. Uh, <laughs> And then, and then he just went like this and grabbed me, and I was going, oh, my God, Burt Reynolds hugged me on a stage. I can't, yeah, yeah. I, I can't deal with this. This is, you know, this is too good. Yeah. So, uh, so that, was, uh, that was a lot of fun. And I didn't know what to do, you know. I didn't, I didn't know whether to lean on the microphone and say, sorry, Lonnie. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> you know what, do you, what do you do? It was, just, it was a lot of fun, and, and uh, I've, I've met a lot of really, really great people. Um, I, I really find that, that you know, in, in as much as is everything that, that we all read and the tabloids and all, and all, and all that, um, I really find that, that everybody I meet who is at the top of their profession, you know, uh, they're all really, really nice people. It's the, the top level don't have anything to prove. I've right. always found that too. They're always the simplest. And then yeah. it's the ones that are insecure that yeah. demand. Yeah. And yeah. one thing. What about entourages? Speaking of, because the ones in the middle always come with a thought. You should see people that we yeah. say, well, it's, we call them pity bookings. You know, yeah. all right, <laughs> let's bring so and so on. And then the ones. We're getting very catty now, aren't we? No, yeah, but well. But they're, the, but they're the ones that say, I want this and I want that. And the big yeah. ones never demand anything. No. Yeah. No, because they, they, don't, they don't need it. It's what? a thing. I actually, I had a, they, speaking of entourages, I, see, I'm not a fan of entourages. I don't, I don't believe in them at all. Um, but you've got to have rather, some. Well, I just, I, you see, I have, uh, my friends who have been my yeah. friends forever. And I've, I've, I've had the same friends for years and years and years. You know, I don't, I don't believe in uh, newfound friends. Right. Just had fame, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, so I have, a, I have a lot of friends, and we all watch each other's backs and, and take care of every, each other anyway. So. We have to go to a commercial. When we come back, I want to talk about your old friends and your new friends on the show. And again, word association with the people on the show. Okay. I'm not letting ink go blast? of that Can we one. do an ink block? We'll do ink block. Okay. All right. What do you see? Is this Sharon? <laughs> oh, I see a bra. Mm. Hold on. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back with more in a moment, so stay tuned. Yeah. We were talking about your very good acting, by the way, all the way through. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Really excellent. Yeah. We're jumping on top of it. I want to get back to your friends. <laughs> I want to talk about your first audition, because that talks about acting. What was your first audition for 90210? Uh, the first audition for 90210, I... I uh, <laughs> it's funny. I, I walked into... Uh, I went up to, to Aaron Spelling's office at uh, one of the studios there in Hollywood, and he had a doorknob on his door that, that was about this big right. and uh, and uh, I mean of course I'm six foot five so it was no problem <laughs> uh, I, I, I walked up to it and I was gonna open the door and I went and I looked at this thing and I said where am I going you know this is, yeah. what is this so all of a sudden the door opens and uh, 
out comes some guy who looks like he'd just been, you know, in the ring with Mike Tyson for two minutes. Yeah. And, uh, and I looked at him, I said, well, it looks like he's not getting the job. And, because uh, he, he, he looked like he wanted to he die. Just, yeah. So here I go, and I walk in, you know, to the office of, of pretty much television's most prolific producer yeah, of right. all time, who I grew up watching his shows. And I walk in there, and I look, and there's this guy, you know, just kind of walking along. You know, drinking his hand. Hi, Jason. How are you? That's Aaron Spelling. And he sits down, and, and Shannon's there, and I met Shannon. And we read it, and, uh, and, and Shannon and I right away had a very good connection. Um, and, and it was very apparent right from the first moment uh, that, that it was, you know, there yeah, was a good, good chemistry. Yeah, there was a good chemistry there. And, and, uh, and that's, you know, that, that's remained, which is nice. I think. Uh, How come there are no romances on the set? Well, that's just silly. Well, um, are, are there any romances on the set? Maybe no, I'm being stupid. I'm no, asking well, it wrong. We got all the girls on our show are all engaged and you yeah, know, doing come, their thing. And but how come they didn't get engaged? How come they were no, usually on every set? You know what I'm saying? There's always yeah. some romance springs up somewhere. And I'm yeah. surprised with all these good-looking kids together that the girls went outside of the group. Yeah. Well, I I think that I think that they did that because they know how absolutely neurotic we all are. Uh, <laughs> Let me give you some of the names of, um, and just give me word associations. Okay. Ian. Hysterical. Hysterical. He's the funniest man in, on the planet. Ian, Ian if, if Ian came out here on the stage, he would come out and he would go and pull a snap off <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing. But he started, he started doing it. You know, we started doing a little handshake thing on the set. And one day I was standing in the hallway and I was watching Ian and completely, I, I don't even think he was thinking about it. But he was standing, he was just like grabbing things and going. And pulling snaps off everything, and I was, he was like pulling them off himself. I was going, what are you doing? You know, he was just, it was, it was, it was very funny. And, and uh, we all went to Europe, and it, it got out of control. Me and I and Luke went to Europe, and we started, uh, we started. It became like a competition, and and it's 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 a stupid thing, right? I mean, what, what is that? It's stupid. So, so it becomes a, it's yeah. this thing, and, and you know, we'd be in these these taxis with these like, bizarre Italian taxi drivers, and we'd all just kind of lean over and go. <laughs> well, and the, you know, the, what is that? What are you doing? You know, what, what is that snapping zip? You know, and uh, <laughs> so, and so it was. It was very funny. Right, Shannon. Shannon. Shannon's. Uh, I don't know where to start with Shannon. She's. She's fantastic. I really. I really love her. Okay. I really love her. Uh, Luke. Luke. <laughs> the other. The other half of the uh, sideburn matching poster boy uh, bookends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Luke is, Luke is, and I, and I thank God for this every day, Luke is just a, a down-to-earth, straight-up, normal guy like I am, and, uh, and I'm very thankful for that. Gabrielle. Gabrielle is the conscience of the show. Gabrielle is, and, and in real life, it's actually the same. Uh, we did something this Christmas where we all didn't know what to get our crew for Christmas. You know, what do you do with, you know, for 150 people that, yeah. that's really nice and can mean something. So what we ended up doing was we all chipped in uh, some money, and we bought, uh, we threw a big party for the crew, and we also bought a van, uh, a minivan, and donated it in their names to uh, a couple of the AIDS hospices around Los Angeles so they could transport the children to the hospital for their treatments. That's terrific. Yeah. That's yeah. terrific. It was, it was funny because um, I knew to wait for the applause because I worked on a sitcom. Um, <laughs> we I knew to uh, uh, Gabrielle came up with you know we all started coming up with ideas because we didn't, who knows what to do so Gabrielle came up with that idea so she's really uh, she's very she's very responsible very together she's really two more names uh, Brian and Jeannie and Jenny Jenny Brian obviously Jenny. I didn't watch that episode Brian and is it's just <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Brian is, and, oh God, Brian. Brian's too funny. Brian is, uh, Brian's, you know, Brian's 18 and he's, and, and when we started the show, I was taller than Brian. And now, you know, in the last like year, Brian is grown like eight inches, you know. <laughs> so he's, he's like this guy. But he, you know, he's so, he's, I don't, I don't know what he, he's, he's skinny, he plays his music too loud because his dressing room's right next to mine. Uh, <laughs> Do you all have the same dressing room? What about, and then we'll go back to Jenny, but what about the same dressing room? Do you have we, 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 all the same dressing room? Has that started yet? We, 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 he's got we, a bigger have, one than I have. Right. <laughs> he's got the toilet and I don't. No, that all, no. That you know, it's all funny. starts, believe me. 
None of us have toilets. None of you have none toilets. None of us have toilets. <laughs> we have, uh... You none of you have a toilet in your dressing room? No. So yeah. where... So you... I guess Joan has one in hers. Oh, well. <laughs> So you have to go out to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, we have to call Aaron Spelling. I mean, that's... <laughs> Last name is Jenny, then we go to commercial, we'll be back with more stuff. Jenny, Jenny is, Jenny is such a sweetheart, and she's just, she's a, she's a, she's a teddy bear, you know, she's just, she comes in in the morning and she wants, she oh, just give me a hug, uh, you know. That's nice. She's adorable, yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to commercial, when we come back, I want to know, sex on the set, when you're going to do your major, when, why you haven't done a major sex scene yet, or okay. have you, okay. and then sex in private life, I want to know how you found out everything. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Jason Priestley. No, I, I need. I need to thank all these people here because yeah. you guys. You guys. You... Thank you. Now, sex on the set. How? <laughs> Your character now. Okay. How far have you gone? In on. All the way, Joe. All Joan. the way. All the way. <laughs> Uh, and how old are you in, in, in the show? In the show? Well, well, uh, uh, that's, that's sort of a, an issue we don't like to oh, bring up. Right. I mean, not even, uh, not because, because we don't know whether we're going we're gonna to st stay in high school or whether we're going to graduate or, or anything. We, when, when the show first started, we, we talked about it a little bit, you know. We'd say, you know, wow, here I am in, you know, 11th grade and yada, yada, yada. But now there's just absolutely no mention of it whatsoever, which is very kind of funny. What about you and sex and private life? Did you, how, how old? Wow, look at the time, yeah. would you? How old were you? Were you in high school the first time you had sex? Yes, I was. What, what grade? What year? It's four years. 1980. No, I mean, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. John. Well, I'm, 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 I'm just curious. I was, uh... Junior, uh, sophomore, uh, 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 freshman? Uh, Were you wearing a cap and gown? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wearing a cap and gown, yeah. but I was wearing a cap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, you, do you make sure you send out those messages? Because that's very important. Oh, do you, yes. Condoms yes. and drunk... I read a thing yes. on drunk driving you were very careful about. Yes. What about smoking, though? You smoke. I, I do, I do smoke, and I think that is, that is, uh, is you know, quote unquote vices. I think that is, yeah. that's my probably my only vice. Um, I, I think, I, I, kids come up to me, and the, the thing that, the thing that really is, is, is disturbing about it for me, not, not in, disturbing in, in a real way, is kids come up to me and they say, they say, you know, you really shouldn't smoke, it's bad for you. And that is, that, that is fantastic that that message has gotten to kids because, and, and you know what I say to them? I say, you're right, and I do it, and I shouldn't, and don't you ever do it. Yeah, yeah. You know? it, so it comes down to the old parenting thing, you know, yeah. do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> what about private life? No girl, no steady girlfriend? Uh, Madonna didn't pick you up, she picked up Luke, Yeah, right? she picked That's... up, she picked up, well, I lost out on that one. Yeah, boy, uh, that could have been a nice notch in your bedpost, let me tell you. <laughs> Absolutely. Keep a book. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> but um, no, no special girlfriend. Um, I. Uh, it, it's 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 very hard being uh, doing what we do in the hours we put in. Yeah. Um, uh, it's it's hard to sometimes to to have a a really serious relationship. I was in one that that, that ended recently, and um, I've been uh, I've been kind of apprehensive about yeah, getting into another one. Do you, keep, they, do you keep animals? Do you have something to love? Um, you have an animal coming out the next... I have some furniture. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what about dog? Because you have a dog you're going to bring out. I next, don't know. I, I personally, I don't have a dog. I had a Siberian Husky that got stolen, and that was, oh. that was kind of sad, yeah. But you work it, with see, animals. I, I knew when I moved into the neighborhood that having a Cambodian restaurant so close by <laughs> might have been a bad thing. <laughs> Oh, oh my sorry, God. sorry. Bad joke, I, bad joke. I bad think joke. I had your dog. I, th <laughs> I think I had your dog. 
think I ate Rover. We'll, but we'll be back in a moment. We're going to talk about dogs and, and the charity you're involved in for okay. dogs. Okay, we'll be back in a moment with Jason Priestley. Thank you. Jason Priestley, and we were talking about this. You're involved in this charity, which is, I think is so incredible. Yes. Now, what is it you do exactly? Well, it's, it's a, oh, actually, I have something. Uh, I noticed your dog wasn't here today, yeah. so here's one for you to put on your lap there. <laughs> oh, um, that's great. Oh, thank you. Animal companion. <laughs> and you don't have to walk them. No. That's great. Thank you. Um, this is, this actually, this is Jeff the dog, uh, and Jeff is a, uh, is a dog, and Jeff is here. He's our and, real Jeff. And yeah. this is Jeff's owner, Bill Connolly. And uh, I got hooked up with Jeff because uh, I was going around to a lot of hospitals, children's hospitals, and hospitals to see kids, and, and you know, see if I could, uh, you know, make them happy for a minute, which is which is very yeah. important. Um, and uh, and I needed I needed something to coordinate that. Yeah. So uh, so. I hooked up with Bill and, and Jeff's Animal Companion Shelter, and uh, it's it's such a wonderful program because it's it's actually medically proven that animal companionship is is very healthy for you and, and can and can help you. Do heal. they give the dogs to people in the hospitals? No, basically what we've done is we formed a companion animal shelter in Westport, Massachusetts, where we take animals out of existing animal rescue leagues and give them to elderly people living at home. So it gives back a little bit of love and affection in their lives, you, oh. some social interaction, exercise, and most of all, a feeling of need and responsibility. What are they people can't afford to feed the animal? We've, Do you give we've, them, we've provide taken, them with we, the food? We've provided food. We also provide transportation to and from the vet. It's a school teacher up there, Betsy Douglas McDonald and myself, that formed this uh, Jeff's Companion Animal Shelter. It's a nonprofit organization, and, and through the, the help of, of, of Jason and people like yourselves, more and more people are knowing about this. I think and it's, it's a great program. You're not yeah. alone when you've got an animal. Right. I mean, my dog Spike, after my husband's suicide, I mean, that was my, my friend right. for, for a year. Mm -hmm. I mean, was... And sometimes these people by themselves, yeah. you know, they have nothing to do. The, the oldest uh, placement we had was a 94 year old person. And the youngest is about a 63. But I mean, it's fascinating to see the change in their lives when they have the animal. Who else is involved? What other celebrities? Do you know? Well, I, th I think that I, I think that I'm the only one. I'm starting a trend here. Well, um, is it national? It's, uh, it's, it's we hope home. to go. We hope to go national. We're in Westport, Massachusetts, right now, and we hope that other shelters around the country will, will emulate us. And we actually go out and seek elderly people. We don't wait for people to come to us. We train the dog as a companion, which means comes when it's called and housebroken. How do you? If somebody needs a dog, what do they write to you? They write to you. What do they do? They can write to Sandoz, uh, care yeah, of Jeff's Companion best? Animal Shelter. Yeah. And uh, Sandoz has helped us uh, found it up in Massachusetts, and they've given us some support money to get it off the ground, and now we're kind of rolling, and we never thought well, we'd be on here. I would here. like to what help be... so much. I mean, seriously, I think it's what? 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 Yeah, I mean, please put my can name or whatever, no, you I... know. Why did I... Jeff become the model? Well, look at him. Well, <laughs> does he put out? I know. Actually, is he I, a little tramp? How did Jeff get it and not Spike? Actually, well, <laughs> Spike wasn't around at the time. Uh, Jeff became it because uh, Jeff is my dog. As I said, I worked for Sandoz Pharmaceuticals, and, and they started this companion animal program that then two of us formed a, a nonprofit organization in Massachusetts and started, and hopefully people around the country will write in. We have a bunch of information on how to start this and what it means to people. I think, I think, I think what, what Bill is trying to get at is something I believe is that people should really, if, if they believe in the program, it doesn't take anything. It takes a little bit of time and not, not even a lot of money or anything else to start one of these in, in their own area And give somebody country. something to live for. Yeah. And you, and you yeah. save the dog's life, too. That's and you important. save a dog's life, too. That's... Or a cat. Or a cat. We have cats, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I thank you both very much. This is a wonderful course, and you are just terrific. I just think you're the best. Just the best. Thank you.